There's another feature of BlazeMeter that lets you alter any JMeter property mid-test, and that opens all sorts of possibilities. This feature is called Remote Control, and it works together with the JMeter property setting in the test configuration screen. Let's have a look. I've created a simple test plan that has an if statement that controls whether a loop gets run on each thread iteration. If the value of the property do big loop is set to 1, then the loop gets run. If not, the loop gets skipped. This is a super simple example just to make my point. Bear in mind that anywhere you can use a JMeter property, you can control it remotely mid-test with the feature I'm about to show you. So now let's see how to create a BlazeMeter test with this test plan and control it mid-test. First, I'll create a new JMeter test. Let's upload my JMX that has the properties we want to be able to control. Now, one thing we have to remember to do before we launch this test is to set at least one property we want control of in the JMeter properties dialog. That's right here. So I'm going to go back to my JMX, and I'm going to grab the property here. I'm going to paste it here and set the initial value to zero. When we start the test, that property will be set to zero and the loop will be turned off. Let's go ahead and change our ramp to something a little shorter here and give our test a name. Save it and launch it. I'll fast forward to the point where the test starts. So now the test is running. Notice there's a remote control button up here. Let's switch to the request stats tab so we can see which samplers are running. Notice we just have the outside loop sampler here. Let's click the button. When the remote control live dialog comes up, it checks to see what the current value of the property is and displays it for you. Now we can put the value 1 in here and click send to send it to the servers. The dialog disappears and we get a confirmation message that the new value was sent to the servers. Now, after a few moments, we'll see changes in the report. First thing we notice is this inside loop 1000 milliseconds each label appeared in the request stats. Now let's look at the summary tab and see what shows up there. Notice how the hits per second dropped and the response time spiked? That's because the loop does 10 iterations with a one second delayed sample in each. If I turn the property back off again, we'll see the behavior go back to the way it was at the start. So this is an example of toggling on and off a section of your test plan using remote control. Use cases are only limited by your imagination. You can set and update multiple properties. Remember, for maximum convenience, you should enter each property you might change into the JMeter properties dialog when you configure your tests so they'll show up here, right? But if you forget to add another property before the test, you can still manually add it to the remote control dialog by adding a row. For instance, if I look over here in my JMeter, I can see that in here, I have this latency inside loop property, which I forgot to add when I was running the test. I can just add a row, paste it in here, set the value to 2000 milliseconds, and send it. Now I can only do that trick because I had at least one property already set in the JMeter properties dialog, so be sure to do that before the test launches.